What's going on guys? I'm Cole of Team Bonus Theories here once again with some more Unturned. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the longbow. Uh, yeah, the longbow. Now, that video I posted the other day about where to get the Timberwolf sniper rifle and the Nova shotgun has, is, a, is our most viewed video by quite a ways. So, I think it's currently at like 50 some views. And our next is like, next most viewed video is like 30. That's not a lot of views at all, but it is for us. So, yeah, so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the longbow. Now, the longbow, it can spawn pretty much anywhere on the map. Any civilian location, which is pretty much anywhere. It's towns, farms, the campgrounds, the bunker on Holman's Island. Uh, over there, that way I think it is. It can spawn at the radio tower, which is right there. Right up there, I can in you know the the bridge and the airport. Actually, the only place on the map I I think it can't spawn is the O'Leary military base. Well, I could be wrong. It might spawn there. I'm not sure. It I don't think it's considered a mil uh not mil. It is a military location. I don't think it's considered a civilian location, which is where the longbow spawns is civilian locations. But I don't think it's considered ones. But I could be wrong. I'm not entirely sure. Now. Another a good reason this is a good starting weapon is if you can't seem to find one, but you need a weapon, it's craftable. And to craft it, you just need three wooden supports and two ropes, so it's it's pretty cheap. I mean, if you get an axe, you can get wooden supports pretty simply, pretty easily, pretty quickly. And ropes, ropes are pretty common. Now, now this thing it 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 does a it does a pretty good amount of damage. I mean, it does 99% damage, so that'll one shot just about any zombie. One to two shot in a zombie in the head. See, it's just like this guy. Yeah, so I don't like using this thing. Now, because like as you just saw, a disadvantage of it is like when you zoom in. Okay, got him. It, the crosshairs just disappear, so it makes it very ineffective at really long range or really even medium range. I think I think it's really hard to aim at close range. It's not so bad as you just saw there, but still, I don't know. But and also it uses arrows as a as a um, ammo, you know. Obviously it's a bow. But the thing about good thing about arrows is they're pretty common. They're craftable. I can't really think of the the uh, recipe right now. I think it's like nails and sticks or something like that. But I I could be wrong. I don't really know. And also if you hit just like a wall or something, you can pick them back up. Which is is that thing? I fired it backwards. That's not safe. So that's pretty cool. You can just like get them back if you miss. Yeah, it's firing the wrong way too, and my frames, what's going on with that? That's weird. Okay, that's pretty nice. Okay. Also, it's pretty lightweight. It's, uh, 0.5 kilograms. That's pretty lightweight. Uh, it's silent, which is nice, so it won't, like, draw on a bunch of zombies. Like, especially if you're starting off. Starting off, it won't call on a bunch of zombies, like, more than you can handle, like, a shotgun might, or a sniper rifle might. Uh... Also, it's got, like, no recoil, as you saw, which is amazing. So, like, here, we'll just walk up to this guy over here. It's got, like, no recoil. Oh, I, I need to reload it. That's no downside. It can only hold one arrow at a time, which... I mean, it's kind of crappy, because I often forget to uh, reload it. Anything in there? There's a carrot seed. Um, so, yeah, that's sucks because uh, I, I like I always forget to reload it now it doesn't even it, it can't like it doesn't have any attachment slots or anything as you can see right here so yeah and also the reload speed it's not that it's, it's pretty slow like just pick that up because I'm greedy like it takes a it takes like almost two seconds to reload which is fairly slow. Also, once you get like a um, a crossbow or a compound bow, it's it's completely obsolete. Cause, yeah. Well, I'll talk more about that when I make the video for those weapons, which will be going up sometime. A which will both be going up sometime after this one. But yeah, it's just more the reason that it's just a good starter weapon. I mean, it's it's it, later on. Like, if you get to like to the point of where I am, where you have like all your skills maxed out, and you have the Timberwolf and the Nova. There's no real point to it. It's 
pointless. <laughs> I guess would be the right word for it, but yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm like cracking my knuckles. Bad habit. But <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's pretty obsolete once you get a uh, a uh, what what is it? A compound bow or a crossbow. So all right, guys, I'm back. I just kind of for whatever reason I felt the need to ramble on about some useless crap there. I don't know, I, I do that sometimes. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Uh, like, it, like I said, I don't know where, I, where I'm going to cut the video at, but it's a good starter weapon. Uh, you know, as you can see, like, right here, long range, there's probably no way I'm going to hit that guy. Yeah, see, there's just long range, it's not so great. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, and if you want some more of the content, consider subscribing, and, you know, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.